This one concerns uh, a person that is going to start breeding and they want to know a little bit more about where their female should have a litter because they have a dog kennel and they have other dogs in the dog kennel. I'll read it, then we'll talk about it. Cindy, I know you guys bred German Shepherds for many years, and that's true, for 35 years. We haven't for since 2009, I think it is. Uh, I have your whelping video and I'm watching it again and again. I'm building a kennel and training facility and I'd like to ask for some advice. How important is it for the dam to be completely separated from the presence of other dogs during whelping? It's a good question for people that haven't bred dogs before. What I mean is, can she be in the same structure within earshot, but totally separated and secure from the other dogs? Or do you still feel this is too stressful for her? It would be a lot more convenient for me if I could keep her kenneled with the other dogs, if possible. That's always the case. It would be more convenient, but <laughs> oftentimes it's not the right thing to do. If not, I will probably need to bring the whole whelping box and operation into the house. Not an ideal situation, but it might be the best situation. And Cindy goes on and explains that this is a hard question to answer because there's a lot of variables involved in it. And really, a lot of it comes down to the female. Is it her first litter? If it's her first litter, she needs to be off away from the other dogs. In fact, even having dogs that can bark and make a lot of noise that can filter into the whelping room can be a difficult and stressful situation. Our whelping rooms at our kennel is, and it wasn't a large kennel. I mean, we had uh, 10, 13 indoor-outdoor runs and we had four whelping rooms. And I averaged breeding for like 35 years, 10 litters a year, but I also had a lot of lot of help. There were times that I had five full-time people working for me just to deal with the puppies and the females and everything that goes along with them. But the, the point is that the best way to do something like this is to keep the females in a, in a quiet, peaceful location, completely away from the other dogs. At the end of our breeding career, we ended up, uh, for our own dogs, having them in the house. And then once they were born, we would transition them over into a whelping room. But you can have a real bad situation if, if you have a litter of puppies. And I see this on YouTube and in some websites where they, where they even let like the male dog come in with the litter. I'm sorry. I never did that in 35 years. It's a recipe for a disaster. It comes under this category of you're okay until you're not. And when you're not, you have either a dog fight or you have dead puppies or you have very seriously injured, pup, injured puppies because the female's gonna blow up and if she pounces on one of them, you can easily have a puppy that gets a broken leg or worse, gets killed. So if your young female has never had a litter of puppies, before, make sure that if you're gonna build a kennel, have it be a totally separate room and do everything you can to have its own door, have its own uh, floor drain so you can hose it down and insulate the walls so you can deaden, deaden as much as you can. And then we put a radio in the whelping rooms to absorb as much sound as we could so that our females couldn't hear the other dogs. We, we're, we lucky, we're lucky. We live in uh, a small town in Wisconsin and, and uh, we have 45 acres. So I had outside dog yards that were 60 by 40. And when I had females that were going to have a litter and I had specific dogs that were more vocal, I'd move them into a down yard because we had very, very good dog houses down there. And we didn't breed in the winter time, so it wasn't an issue of putting them down there. We tried to keep the whole whelping situation calm. 
I would always have friends, oh, can I bring my kids over to see my, your puppies? Not when, they're, not when they're younger than four or five weeks old. I would never let that happen. We didn't let anybody go in with our females when they were having their babies. We didn't let anybody, not even, really, not even employees would go in with the females. I did all the work, or Cindy did all the work, where we would go in the females, we would feed them, change their water, clean the papers up, clean the floors, where all of our whelping rooms had drains in each whelping room. In the end, uh, in probably the last 15 or so years, I put ceramic tile on the floor and on all four walls, and each whelping room uh, had its own water faucet in it, so I could do a quick disconnect on a hose and hose it all down outside of the whelping box, of oak, obviously. But it is a good question, and keep your other dogs away from these litters. That's why it's important in your whelping rooms to have a door that you can close it off so that no dogs come into that room where your whelping boxes and your litters are.